Hi, um, it's Siobhan's life here. I'll have to be quick actually with you on this. I've only got like 10 minutes um, on my memory camera finger. So today I'm reviewing this Asda. Um, it, it, it's the Jutta Central range. And it's told in the all. So I'm just going to give this a try with no gravy on. But I have added some seasoning so I'm going to show you in a second. I think this was 90 pence if I'm right. Yeah, because all the frozen meals in this is about 90 pence. So, yes, I'm going to give this a go. And I quite like yacht pudding and sausages. I didn't do no gravy. So, here's what it looks like. Wait. So, that's what it looks like. I cooked it for a bit longer than what it says. It's gone a bit cold, actually, because I was on the phone to somebody. Um... Yes, so this is the instructions. Leave it there so you can see. These are the ingredients. So I'll just try my best a second to um re so it suggests one serving this, so it said. But you could share it actually, I suppose, and have some sausage. I mean not sausage, I have like extra sausage actually with um mash. Um, what else could you do with a bit of veg? That's I suppose you could do that, yeah. Showing you your peas, but gravy. So you need to cook it at 220. So that's what I do. Um, I did at 200 actually, 35 to 40 minutes, but I think I did it for 50 minutes. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, I'll just show you the traffic system, traffic light system. So this is 493 calories. You can see you there. So yeah, this was 90 pence in the frozen red. I'm gonna try and do some other um review food reviews as in frozen versus fresh. Do you know like for example if I saw this in Asda in fresh section, I'll get that as well and do a frozen one, see which is the best after say. But I have not seen fresh um prices are a bit more pricey so yeah so that'd be interesting so i'll just show you right quickly so i used them um, this from lidl's mixed herbs i sprinkled a bit on and then this paprika one grounded one so yeah they're about 60 to 89 pence i think so it's gone cold now so i can hold it up so yeah so this one has got um mixed herb ones on so i'll give that a go then the middle one i just left it as it was you know no seasoning then that's the paprika one so i try a bit with the seasoning on they look nice these these sausages should have got a fork should I? but never mind with that seasoning on it's quite nice actually then I'm going to try the plain one, see if there's any difference. Might as well just pick it up. That's nice. Do you know, with a bit of the mixed herb, it tastes like a bit like a, do you know, herb sausage? Do you know, with herbs on? Now try this one with the paprika on. Mmm, quite nice actually, but I would say it's a little bit better with the mixer one on. Might as well just get a bit of Yorkshire pudding. Like that, looks nice and fluffy. Really nice actually. I love to make me on Yorkshire pudding. My dad used to make really nice ones. On a Sunday, when I used to stay that weekend, he used to do like this big yacht pudding. And what he used to do, he used to add carrots with this like onion gravy. It was dead nice, you know, for a starter. Then, then we would have like chicken and mash and everything, apart from the yacht pudding, because that was the starter. Um, have you, have you lot any, I mean, have you lot done that in the past? 
But his Yorkshire puddings used to be really, really nice. I wish, I just wish I could get the recipe, but of course, it sadly passed away. And there was really like massive, and it was very really nice and fluffy inside. That's how I like them. The frozen ones are all right, but I want to try and make my own. But he used to make it so nice, it looked like a starter with carrots on with the gravy, it was dead nice. I think that was my favourite bit. Then we would have um, rice pudding or summer or breaded butter pudding, you used to make that, or apple crumble. Do you know how funny it is that? Quite nice. The sausages are nice, plain. So nice, but with a bit of herb stuff on. So it's like they're expensive sausages. So yeah, so I'm gonna finish this off now. So this was about ninety pence. I would buy this again. Um, but next time I serve it with some gravy and mash and blah blah blah. So yeah, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment because I want to read your nice comments. Um, also consider to subscribe if you're not done already so you don't miss out on my other videos yeah and i will do some videos with my rats in as well um what else oh i'm gonna do that beans review when i can get the eins and Branston beans and do a verse off pardon me so yeah i'm gonna leave it there now everyone so i'll see you again soon take care bye